Okay, so uh, what do we need now? It's a PWM or a switching source of signal in order to connect it to the base of the transistor and actually do the job, do the switching for us. Okay. So we need a source of the signal which can also adjust the duty cycle, the on and off, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, also the frequency, I mean, how fast is switching. Okay. How fast is this happening, like on and off, right? Yeah. Okay, you remember your first DIY kit? First one. Yeah, first one. Which one it was? Oh, I think it was the... Um... It was the 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 light one, the, the flashing light. The flashing light, yeah. The the train is coming. Ding 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 yeah. ding ding. So for me, that's switching, right? Yeah. It's switching. It's on and off. On and off. Yeah. So we can use that signal to to manipulate the output of this transistor. It's on and off. That's mean uh, what duty cycle you have. Like how long it's on, how long it's off. Like half and half. Half and half, right? Yeah. So that's like 50% duty cycle. Yeah. Now, what is the frequency of this uh, switching? Like 50 hertz. No? Is it? no? So your LED are doing the 50 times? They are uh, switching on and off 50 times per second? Okay, let's count. Let's let's get the let's let's get a watch and uh, check. Let's bring that uh, kit here. Wait, to to check how many times is like yeah no yes. it, it's like one second. Yeah, it's one second. One so second. why you said fifty? Uh, I was thinking of fifty percent. Sorry. Yeah, are two different things. Yes. I'm trying to explain you. <laughs> yeah. The frequency of one full cycle. Yeah, it is like one two. One. And the duty cycle, actually, yeah. how long it's on and off. You yeah. know what I mean? I told, are completely two different things. Yeah, one second on, one second off. Yeah, or probably half second on. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's bring that kit. But this is the one. Yeah. This was your first kit. My first one. Don't don't look at the solder. Oh, check here. <laughs> don't look at the solder. No, yeah. no, you know what? The, those are my first solders. I know. They look so messy. Look at this. Look at this. I know, but you know, I'm yeah, proud. But compare with the last one, last Yeah, but you that's... have only a few hours of doing electronics. I know, but compare with the last kit that, uh, that I made, this one looks so bad. You know what? Actually, those are my solders. So, so what is wrong with this with these solders? It's a lot of flux, that's all. Yes. That's how I solder. Because I know the flux is a good isolator. Okay. The second thing I know if I'm using a lot of flux, the probability to have bridges is very low. That's the reason why I'm using a lot of flux. So actually it's it's very good. Actually you have to you have to come back to this kind of solder. No, I don't like it. I, I like to be nice and clean. You solder like that, and if you don't like it, you clean it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Now let's test this one. Yeah. So that's the ground, yeah, and that's the glass. Mm. Yay! Beep. Yeah, so I will Beep. say, Beep. what do you think? I will say, you know, the duty cycle is like 50% it's, because it's equal yeah. on and off. Yeah. yeah, and it's less than one second. It's like 30, no, it's like... Mm. A full cycle is mm. nearly one second, I yeah. would say, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's draw this schematic quickly. Okay, so I just draw just almost all the, the schematic, not, not all. Yeah. So what, what it will happen on this case with the LEDs? So just analyze the schematic and tell me what will happen. What these schematics it will do in a real life? It will stay on. It will just light it up. Exactly. So basically, you have you have uh, two transistors. Then you have a resistor from the base to the plus. Yes. Yeah. Mean my base it will have current. Yeah. It, the transistor it will drive the power and it will light up the LEDs. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Now comes the trick. Yeah, mm. and I don't understand. I don't 
I don't expect to understand the schematics. Actually, this is quite an advanced thing. I know you don't believe it, but you see, this is called like an os- oscillator. Okay. Because it's oscillating. Oscillating in between on and off. Now, to understand this, you need to have solid knowledge of electronics. Okay. And just to understand why actually the those uh, LED are starting, yeah, mm-hmm. start flashing, you need even more knowledge going down to the transistor uh, amplification uh, factor. Okay. So I don't expect to understand the schematic. I mean, this is simple, but when you add the capacitor, everything goes gets, gets complicated. Okay. So how is the schematic now? Oh, it's such a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a mess. <sighs> okay, I will explain you short what is happening. All right. So... Uh, I'm trying at the same time to, to look at, um, at this. Uh, that it will not help you. No? No, no. Because, yeah. But basically what you see here is an auto oscillator. So uh, the this transistor is getting charged. When this transistor is getting charged, it will drop the voltage here. Yeah. yeah because this is not connected to ground, it's connected exactly on the base of this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you're dropping the voltage, DC tool goes off. When DC tool goes off, the capacitor is connected to plus, yeah? Mm-hmm. And uh, this is connected to the base, it will drag the base down. Uh, on that point, this transistor, this capacitor, it will be connected to plus. Mm-hmm. When it's connected to plus, then I will have voltage on uh, on this base. When I hold voltage on this base, uh, uh, this LED will be on. This capacitor it will get charged. It, it's it's it, it's it's more complicated for you. It's too complicated. So I don't want to understand this schematic right now. Okay, but that that makes sense. Cause it, it's going like in a circle. Like when this one going uh, up, that one going off, and when this when this is going off, yeah. when this is when this is lighting up, this capacitor, it will be connected to ground. Yeah, yeah? because if the transfer is driving the power here, I will have basically ground. Yeah, mm-hmm. then. Uh, you connect the capacitor to ground, what will happen? The voltage here on the base, it will rise. Okay, the question is how we can change the duty cycle, the time the transfer are staying, the LED are staying on, and how we can change the frequency. Oh, so you mean how the LED is like to not yeah. be like a, a 50-50, like yeah, and the frequency, how quickly. How quickly. I will say, let's try first to uh, change the frequency. The frequency. So the frequency, you can change the schematics by replacing the capacitors. Capacitors, yeah? yes. Smaller capacitor, that means smaller well, charging time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's getting charged quickly, it's getting discharged quickly. Yeah. yeah that means probably the, the frequency will increase. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So what is the actual value of the capacitor right now? On, on those ones? Yeah. 25 volts, 22 micro fire. 22 micro. Yeah. Let's try with... Uh, what? With one know. micro? Yeah, just remove them. Take the solar iron and remove the capacitor. And let's change them with one micro. All right, both of them, right? Yeah. I told Anna to solder the capacitor on the back of the board because... Uh, We'll have to replace them. Depends on what frequency do you, we want. So now... You it's see? So it's faster. Faster, yes. It's faster. So this is a PWM generator. All right. So if, now, you, if you put a bigger one, bigger than... Capacitor? Capacitor, it will be... Even slower. Even slower, yeah, yes. Yeah. So now we have our PWM uh, generator. How we are connecting this with this? What do you mean? To connect, connect them together? Yeah, I, I want to take the signal. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So you have the, the LED flashing, right? What yeah. it will be the voltage here? What it will be the voltage on this point? 
uh, it will be 12. Why? Because we don't have any... Um, Wait, it's gonna it's gonna be twelve. All the time? No, it, no, no, not all the time. Only when the LED it, is on. It's on. When it's on, when it's on, you have ground here. Here you have ground because this it will drive the the power. So here you have ground. Wait, so it's gonna be. Uh, 12 when it's off? Exactly. Exactly. You'll be 12 when actually it's not, uh, you have no ground. So basically what you have here is a resistor, which is connected nowhere. Okay. So you understand the signal on this point here, exactly here. It will be like that. So it will be either 12 either zero. or zero. Zero it will be when the LED is on because transistor, it will fully drive the, the current to ground. Now if the transistor, it will be like a wire. It's like moving the ground here. Mm -hmm. Obviously it will be zero volts when the LED is on. When the LED is off, that the transistor it will have infinite resistance. That's mean this voltage is not going anywhere. I will have, have 12 volts. Yeah. So here it will be 12 when the LED is off. Oh. And the, mm -hmm. the 12 volts is coming from here. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing. I told you everything has a resistance. It's the same thing like you have a resistance to here. Mm -hmm. Remember we, we did on the beginning, a resistor, it will not limit the voltage. It will limit the current. Yes. Yeah. And the voltage drop is because of the current drop. Yeah? Yeah. But if you have nothing connected here, just ignore the capacitor. We already spoke about the capacitors mm -hmm. are not driving DC power. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have nothing connected here, you have only one resistor. Mm -hmm. Probably 12 volts. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the signal on this point. So if we are taking this signal and we are moving the signal to our transistor, I mean, I take a wire from here yeah. and I'm going to the base of the transistor. Yet this is, uh, here we have the light bulb or the LED, whatever. Uh -huh. Connected to 12 volts. Can we do this schematic? Oh, but wait. There is like a... Same thing. It's not the same thing. Um, almost the same. I'm getting this signal, which is a switching signal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I take it to this transistor mm -hmm. so I can switch a higher load. You think if, if I will connect the a light bulb here, it will work? Because on that case, I don't need this circuit. Instead of the, the LED, yeah, let's say LED and resistor, obviously it will not work if you have the resistor there. The resistor to limit the current. Mm -hmm. If I connect a light bulb, it will work? It will. You're ignoring something. Mm. You're ignoring the possible current it can, which can be go through this transistor, small transistor. Oh, that's a small one. This is be like a few thousand, dozen of milliamps. Yeah. So. So if you take, if you try to drive more than uh, let's say 50, 100 milliamps, this transistor will get burned. Oh, that's true. You understand? Yeah. So that's the reason why you use a, you need a driver, yeah, to drive a powerful 
transistor. Mm-hmm. Even on any power switching power supply, you have the driver, then you have the power transistor, which is driving on our case, let's say, a light bulb. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, electric motor or a transformer or... Yeah? Okay, yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. Good. So it is possible to have this schematic? Maybe, yes. It will work? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it will work. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So basically you are, uh, we have here, what voltage is at 12? Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So for you, it's no problem having on the base 12 volts of this transistor. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. oh. You cannot have oh. more than. Uh, oh, yeah, you yeah. see? 0.7. You see? I mean, we can use this. We can connect a resistor on the serial mode with the base to limit the current, right? Yeah. And we can use it. But I think even better, we can use a MOSFET. Yeah. Because the MOSFET gate is open by voltage. Yeah. Yeah? So mm-hmm. we can have, like, what we had last time, like 5 volts. 5 volts, yeah. yeah. Can go even higher. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get the other MOSFET. Okay? So we have the MOSFET. Mm-hmm. So here we have the plus, right? Yeah. And you have to connect the plus with the plus from uh, from this, right? Okay. Yeah. So connect it. And that's how it's going to put together. Okay. Yes. Now connect the ground, which is coming from the source of the MOSFET. To the ground. Yeah, minus. And now you need a wire yeah. from the gate yeah, to, to the output of any LED. Uh, wait, wait, which one? Which one is output here? It's no output, it's this. From this point from uh, the LED pin or from the collector of the transistor pin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but which one is it? So you have to find the pin which is going from the LED to the transistor. That's all what you have to find. All right, so transistor is here. The LED is here. Wait, is, is this one? This one? The LED is going there? Yeah. Okay, it's right. that one. Yeah. So you can check if it's beeping, if you are not sure if that track is going to the transistor or not. So I said from here to here. Yeah, it's going there. Uh, yeah. So okay. you can solder the wire there. And to the gate of the MOSFET. All good? Yeah. Now test it. Ah, uh, so plus. It's plus. Minus it minus. Uh, uh, uh. It's working. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can still see, like, yeah. it's, you can see it's still flashing a little bit. Yeah. You can see? Mm-hmm. But it's working. It is. You just build your first oh. switching power supply. Oh, wow. Huh? So to get rid of the flashing, we have to raise the frequency of the PWM. You right? To get rid of the flashing? Yeah. To have more smoother output. Yeah. Well, How we are increasing the frequency of your PWM generator? Uh, we need a smaller uh, capacity. Exactly. How we are changing the duty cycle, the time the LED, those LEDs are on and off. You don't know that yet. No. I know. I know. But we're going to see on the next video, right? Okay. There's another thing that you need to add to change the... Yeah, we can, yeah, yeah, we can change. Okay. We can change. So okay. we have to change the duty cycle, the time the LED is on and mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will show you next time. All right.